Hello, I'm El Pato, and this is still Battle Brothers. So where were we? Ah yes, we just took our revenge on Hogart, leveled up a couple of our guys, and now we're ready to start being real mercenaries. First of all, let's uh, let's actually put some points into these level ups. Friedrich here, he's our cookie cutter melee guy that we got from the tutorial, so he's going to have some pretty good stats. Predictably, he gets pretty good rolls in melee defense and uh, his melee skill. And we're also going to put something in his fatigue so he can swing his weapon more often and wear bigger armor without getting the uh, the fat rolls, so to speak. All right, let's give him so oh, thank you, movie maker. Thank you for that. It's not like I'm recording. All right, and Havert, our ranged bro from the tutorial, gets another predictably good level up for his... Uh, his specialty, the ranged. Let's give these guys their perks. Friedrich here is going to get uh, crippling strikes. We're going to be hunting a lot of living things, a lot of humans in the uh, first part of the game just to get some equipment. So the more I can do some some actual debuffs on these guys, the more I can injure them, the better. If I could just hit them once with Friedrich and give them an injury, I think it's going to make the other bros jobs a lot easier. Havard, though, it's a little bit... not as cut and dry. Oh, look, they're both superstitious, yay. If we ever fight something supernatural, they're not going to have a good time. Anyway, Havard here, less cut and dry. I think I'm going to give him fast adaptation and give him a short bow so that he can fire more arrows and buff his two-hit chance as he misses. All right, cool. Now, as we do this inventory management thing. I wanted to go over a couple things that I've seen in the thread. Uh, first of all, a lot of you guys have come in and put in your names for uh, the meat grinder. You guys want to join the company? Come die with me. That's great. I'm so glad you guys are here and participating. That's awesome. Uh, one thing though, the first two weeks of this campaign are actually pre-recorded. So I'm not going to be able to change any names and uh, put anybody in the lineup or take any suggestions until day 15. But I guarantee I will start doing it then. We've got plenty of time until then. And the thing is, I had to pre-record these first couple weeks in game just to make sure that we had an interesting seed at least. I mean, it's not gonna be just a terrible seed. It's not gonna be God tier. There's some interesting parts of the map and uh, we've got some fairly interesting choices in characters to hire. I just kind of randomized until I found something I wanted to go with. If I would have gotten a great seed, like a unnaturally good, awesome seed, I probably would not have kept it. I want to make this a sort of uh, typical run-through on Iron Man for Battle Brothers. I want to give you a taste of what it's like. You can go through the trials and tribulations, the ups and the downs with me. Also, I saw a couple of you in the thread mention that you had thought about doing a VLP of Battle Brothers as well. You just hadn't gotten to it yet. I think that's awesome. Uh, you know what? Just post. If you want to do it, if you want to go and record yourself and uh, do something different than I'm doing, do it. I almost guarantee you're a better player than I am, and you can show off different aspects of the game than I can. I'll uh, you, you post it in the thread, I'll put it in the OP, I'll keep track of it for you, and I'll have the runs going uh, side by side. All right? This thread is not about me or my ability to play this game. It's about showing off Battle Brothers. I want the... I want the devs, I want Overhype to put out more of the same. I want them to put out more content for us, and I want to put out in the universe that this, this is the stuff I want. Please, make more of this. So the more of you doing this, the better. So it looks like we've got our guys pretty well sorted. I would like to get... I'd like to get more spears in our lineup, honestly. By any means necessary, because none of us are very good yet. More 20 sticks equals hitting more people. All right, let's go down to the shop first. I know that you didn't come here to really see inventory management. I'm trying to keep things fluid. I'm trying to keep things going. But at the same time, I don't want to rush through things and make bad decisions and just kill our company outright. I mean, obviously, I've ruined some of the immersion here uh, by saying that we at least make it two weeks. But I guarantee that not everyone is making these two weeks alive. Or at least, you know, with their nose. Anyway, let's take a look at what these guys have to offer. Nothing great. 
All right, as I said before, nobody's gonna take our business except for maybe some tiny villages. So we're gonna go around the map looking at tiny villages and asking them if they have anything for us to do. We're gonna go find the most podunk of podunk little hell holes and see if they're having any troubles. Oh look, we can set a goal as a company. Right now I'm gonna set our goal to, or, our, or we're gonna set our aspiration to getting 12 men in the company. Now this is a, a two-part sort of thing. I want more warm bodies. I want more people out there surrounding, uh, I want people surrounding targets that are targets of opportunity. I want 12 people perhaps being able to take on a group, a smaller group of raiders perhaps, getting their, their gear. I mean, having 12 people is a big, a big advantage, even if they don't have the best equipment. And 12 people means more goon names to add to the roster once we're done with week two. So it's win-win for us. In the meantime, we have religious zealot kids. Now I could rob these kids, but our guys are in, at such a, in such a state, they're just, they're all rookies. And we've got nothing but pointy sticks and little clubs. I feel like if we tangle with these kids, somebody might lose an eye and I don't, I'm not sure if it's gonna be just the kids. So let's, let's take it easy. All right, it seems like something is terrorizing these people. Something's hunting people in the night. Let's go take care of it for them. Hunt down what terrorizes K water. Oh look, tracks. I wonder what it could be. Tracks are a big deal in this game. It lets you hunt down things that you uh, that you want to get loot from or XP from, and it also tells you what kind of danger you're in if you're on a road and you see tracks and battle sites and stuff. Tracking people is a big part of the game. Hey, Habard comes out of the gate pretty strong here. So meet the dire wolves. They're pretty much just a bunch of dogs. I mean, albeit big dogs. They fight like dogs too. They're always in packs. Uh, they try to surround you. And, uh, and eat you. All they know is that you're yummy, pointy sticks are bad, and uh, they just want to, to bite, and they're vultures, they're, they're scavengers, they're opportunists. They're kind of like us right now. We're just trying to scrounge a living right now too. And as you can see, their morale is not very good. I mean, they are just a bunch of dogs. So the more you poke them, the more you surround them, the less sure they are about things. They're like, oh, did I make a good decision here? It's easy to make them run. If you have good equipment, like if you have good armor and uh, pretty leveled up guys and uh, enough of, enough people to keep yourself from being completely surrounded by a big pack of dire wolves, they're not that much of a threat. However, we are none of those things right now. We're not well equipped, we don't have enough people, so these guys are still a threat. They have enough action points to actually uh, attack three times in one round, and if they get next to one of your squishies, that is actually enough to kill them outright. It's no good. Alright, we're, out. as you can see, they attack like dogs as well. They don't exactly have a strategy to it, they just attack random things. They're just gonna bite what's there. As you can see, we're working on that one's morale. We don't want him hitting anybody. This guy, though, he's holding out pretty well. But all that's left of this contract is to clean up. Alright, he's flagging. He's about to flee. But now he's gone. Easy money. Looks like Eberhard leveled up this time too. He is our stereotypically tanky guy, and I imagine his level up's gonna be the same. It's gonna be HP, fatigue, uh, maybe some morale, something like that. He's he's our stereotypically uh, sergeant type character. There's our 400 crowns, and they no longer have disappearing villagers. That means they're a bit more ready to sell things to us. They're not as terrified about uh, the outside world. Alright, let's see what our level up did. Yep, as I suspected. Good HP, fatigue, resolve. But he also got a plus three in melee, which is not guaranteed on his character. It's a good roll. We're gonna take it. Now, I know this was a short video, but I'm going to post one directly after this, just to uh, just to get things rolling here. I don't want to leave you guys with just little content for an update. Alright, until then, I'm El Pato. This was Battle Brothers. 
uh, see you later. <laughs>